hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so i have this disney princess tiana inspired set to show you today unfortunately i did come in and begin doing a marble on the pinky finger however it was really out of focus i had a few problems recording and i didn't realize that pretty much the whole marble was out of focus so i decided to just cut it out but basically all the acrylic colours I'm using today are from Glitterama. So for the marble now I've used lemon, peppermint and nude. And then I'm just coming in with some premix glitter acrylic from Glitterama which is called Ice Queen. I will leave all the products as usual linked in the description box below. So yeah, basically I'd done that marble and then just popped some glitter over the top. Okay, so on the middle finger I'm going to be using a decal from Queen of Decals. So it needed a white base, so I'm just coming in with my Glitterama white acrylic. And I'm just going to do that in a three bead method. So the camera did start playing up again here. I don't know why. It was like the light was flickering and it was struggling to stay in focus or something. But I left it in because I just wanted to explain a little bit about how I use my white acrylic. So as a lot of people know, white is probably the most stickiest and trickiest colour to work with. So I pick my white bead of acrylic up. The same as I would pick any other bead up, to be honest. Maybe slightly on the drier side. But then what I do is I place it down on the nail, wipe my brush clean, then dip it into my monomer, drain out the excess before then come and patting that acrylic into place. So I just find that this way helps minimise the colour contamination in your monomer. And it just makes it a little easier to work with. Um, I've tried a couple of white acrylics and this probably is my favourite one actually. It's definitely the least stickiest. And yeah, it's, it's called Brilliant White for a reason. It's Brilliant White. So it does the job. And like I said, I, I don't find it too tricky to work with if I remember to follow those steps of keeping my brush nice and clean. So I'm just going to leave that white acrylic to set and then move on to the next nail so on the middle finger I'm going to be doing some colour blocking so I'm coming in with this beautiful caramel colour and it's called in the buff and I'm just applying this like I would if I was doing a reverse smile line so just patting and pulling it down the nail but then I've just sort of left it in that sweeping motion and then I'm just pulling another little bead, <coughs> sorry about that, over the end just to help build up a bit of a wall and then just using my brush just cleaning up that line. So it's not going to be a straight line or anything, I want you to keep with that gentle sweep across the nail. Again, just building it up as these are core powders so they don't need to be capped in clear acrylic. And then I'll leave that to set before filing crisp. So on the pointer finger, I decided to do a three colour ombre, which I don't think I've ever actually done before. So this was a first. Um, and I sort of wanted the ombre to sweep down one side. So I'm coming in with that in the buff first. And just rather than applying it straight, I've applied it at that sort of sweeping angle. Um, yeah, and I'm just applying that how I would if I was ombre in two colours. So making sure the back of the bead is blended out before then pulling down towards the tip. So because the tip is going to be the main part of this colour you see, I decided to come in with a little bit more just to make sure that it was nice and opaque. So I'm just making sure that's all nice and even. 
and I'm then going to come in with the lemon and again just applying it at that slight angle and then just blending out the back of that bead and then pulling it down over the previous colour. I did faff about a little bit of this now, like I said I haven't really done a free colour ombre before so it was a learning curve. I don't really remember doing a free colour ombre before anyway so it's either not been done or it's been a very long time since I've done one. So just coming in with a little bit more of that lemon and just trying to always sweep off the excess from the in the buff. I do think I end up coming in at the end with a little bit more of the tan caramel colour just to help it show through a little bit. So then this colour is peppermint which is a beautiful mint green colour and I thought seeing as it was a Tiana inspired set this colour worked well. So I'm just placing that one at the cuticle blending it back over the lemon and then just like I said I come in with a little bit more of that in the buff blended it back and then a little bit more of the lemon just so that it was nice and bright and you could see it there. Then I am going to be adding some nail art sequin shapes I bought from Charlie's Nail Art. So they're called Mixed Transparent Nail Art Sequin Shapes. And they're these really, really cute sequin shapes. So I was just showing there, they come in a multicolored pack and I had picked out the colors that I wanted to use and just popped them in a little gem tray. And then I'm just putting a little wash of clear acrylic on and then just picking them up with my brush and sitting them in that wet acrylic. I thought these were super cute. And this now, sorry, this set of nails was just like completely out there and I wanted loads going on and things like that so I'm just placing them on that wet acrylic as I said I'm doing this voiceover really really late so I'm sorry if it's not the best but yeah so I'm placing them on and then I will cap that now in clear acrylic So I went and capped the little finger and the pointer finger in clear and I then also filed the, I don't know what to call it, not a smile line but the, the in the buff acrylic. I went and filed that nice and crisp and then I'm coming in with that peppermint to do the next line of the colour block. I'm just applying that the same as before really getting it right up next to the previous colour, not worrying if it overlaps as you will file it all in crisp. And then because it's not a straight line, I'm just trying to do my best to get the sweeping correct with my brush so that I don't have too much filing to do. So I'm making sure that when I apply this colour that I get right down the side walls as you don't want to then file at the end and file away the product because you haven't applied enough and be left with a gap so that was sort of a bit of a main priority there and then I'm just again coming in with my brush and cleaning up that line making sure that the wall is nice and high again as the colour doesn't need to be capped. Don't be worried to add a little bit more if you need to. When it comes to colour blocking, I find that more is better than less. You can file away more, whereas if you don't apply, apply enough, then when it comes to filing at the end, you'll file through and be left with little gaps between each colour. So then I'm just showing these decals, which like I said at the beginning are from Queen of Decals. And 
this is I think I think it's called the princess collection but I will double check and pop it in the description box below and then I'm just coming in with my base coat and applying a thin layer of that over the entire nail as it was a little tip I picked up from Stacey Ward she has a YouTube channel and uses Queen of Decals quite a lot and yeah it just apparently makes applying them a lot easier so I haven't used them really before so I thought I would give it a go so I popped that in some water for around 15 seconds peeled it off the backing paper and then I'm just applying it onto that wet base coat just nudging it around and using my tweezers and finger thumb to stick it down just making sure to get all the creases out and that the decal is lying nice and smooth on the nail plate so just taking my time you want to get it right before you pop it in the lamp to cure i really love these decals they are really they are meant to be like to look like they've been hand painted on the nail and I think it done that perfectly. So I did pop that nail into my LED lamp for the base coat to cure for 60 seconds. And then I capped it in clear acrylic. I did that off camera though as again I didn't want the video to be super long. So now at this stage the three nails that I've finished have all been capped in clear acrylic. And I'm just finishing up this colour blocking nail. So I'm now coming in with the lemon and again just doing the same as before. Using my brush as much as I can to get the wall nice and crisp. However I will come in with my file as always just to neaten it up that little bit more. Again, using more than I probably needed to, but just to make sure there's no gap between that yellow and lemon, sorry, and peppermint. I'm just faffing around with this so much pointless because I did come in and file it so then I'm just brushing away any dust before coming in with that final colour on the end so I decided for the tip of the nail to use the Ice Queen pre-mixed glitter acrylic and I'm just placing that on the tip of the nail getting it nice and flat making sure it's fully covered before because I will obviously cap this in clear acrylic because it is got a glitter as much as it's an acrylic powder it has got glitter in it so it has no strength and does usually need to be capped in clear otherwise you'll find that when you file you file away the glitter as well so I'm just capping that in clear the clear acrylic I'm using again here in this set is clarity from diamond nail supplies so yeah, all my colours and the Ice Queen glitter are from Glitterama. However, my clear and monoma is from Diamond Nail Supplies. And the good thing is, is with Glitterama acrylics, you can use any monoma. So I then went off camera and filed, shaped and buffed these nails and then cleaned away all of that dust before coming in with my top coat and today I'm using the Premier Gel High Shine No Wipe Top Coat. This is an absolutely lovely top coat. So I'm just applying that to the finger, applying a nice even layer and then just run my fingers down the side there to wipe off the excess that had pulled. I loved this decal. I thought it was so cute. This is my first, like I said, it's my first time using them and I was really, really impressed with them. 
and then the colour block nail and then this now is probably actually my favourite I loved how it turned out in the end so I hope you've enjoyed this video please let me know if you'd like to see another Disney inspired set um, yeah so let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel I would really appreciate it if you did so thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye bye